Now, again, the key is that pH equals minus log of C, if C is in moles per liter. Uh, except that we don't have log of C, we have ln of C. So how can we make ln into log? Well, you might know the formula. I know this, that log base A of B is whatever kind of log I want here. So I'm going to take log base 10 of B over log of A. So that means that uh, ln of C is equal to log of C over log of the base, which is E, ln here, which most people write as ln of C equal to 2.3 log of C. So if you remember this formula, that's fine. If you don't, I know how to get it. So that's what I do. So now we want to solve for this. So that would be 2.3 log of C of T, that's this here, equals this minus this. So A K V times E to the minus K T minus one, that's these two. And then that has to go on the other side. So plus 2.3 log of C zero. Make sure you check your signs because otherwise it doesn't work really well. Now, what we really want is minus log of C, so we're going to divide by 2.3 and multiply by minus 1. So, pH of T equals minus log of C of T. Now, to get that minus log, we're dividing by 2.3 and multiplying by minus 1. So, we have A over 2.3 kV. That's that part. Now you're going to say, where's the minus? Here comes the minus. 1 minus e to the minus kT. I'm just writing it this way because this is very typical of books. And then here we just have minus and the 2.3 divides out itself, log of C0. So this is our final equation in which we need to put our numbers. So now finally we want to substitute into this equation the particular values. If you recall we had A equal to 0 0.27778. We had K equals to 4.6 times 10 to the minus fourth. We have, as we can see from here, uh, V equals 0 0.25 meters cubed. Everything is in liters per in seconds. So this is equal to 250 liters. And finally, we have C0 is equal to 0 0.1 mole per liter. So substituting all of these things in here, we have pH of T equals 0 0.27778 over 2.3 times 4.6 times 10 to the minus fourth whoop, times 250 times 1 minus e to the minus 4.6 times 10 to the minus fourth t there's our function minus log of 0 0.1. So get our calculator up and find these values. So clear. 0 0.277 and as many we want. 8, or we could just put the three sevens in there, divided by 2.3, divided by 4.6 exp minus 4. Looks good. Divided by 250. So that's 1.05. If we want to add another one, it's 1.0502, right? So equals 1.0502, if we want that many places. 1 minus e to the minus 4.6 times 10 to the minus 4t. 
minus, this is 1 tenth, so that's 10 to the minus 1. You can easily look it up, so that's minus 1, so this is plus 1. So this is our final function, pH as a function of time for this given problem. And finally, we graph this function so we see what's happening. Uh, T is on our horizontal axes in seconds. pH is on our vertical axes. And we see that when, when T equals 0, this will equal 1. So 1 minus 1. So this whole section will be 0. And we get our initial pH of 1 right there, 0, 1. And then we start adding a large amount of fresh water. And then the amount of fresh water that we're adding decreases. So the change in pH decreases. So first it grows rapidly and then it grows more slowly. And as T gets bigger and bigger, this number here tends towards 0. So the sum tends towards 1. So the biggest this PHP can get is 1.05 plus 1 equal to 2. And that is that.